one. Um, as you may or may not be able to tell from the uh, surroundings behind me, I am unfortunately in the hospital right now. Um, I came into the emergency room this morning um, because yesterday morning I started having some trouble with my left arm um, where there was some pain and my um, upper arm was kind of swollen and my arm was a little bit of a funny color, kind of a grayish, purplish, reddish color. Um, and I didn't do the best thing for it yesterday. I kind of I kind of tried to ignore it and I was kind of in denial that it was could be anything serious and um, did try to get in touch with my doctor and uh, couldn't couldn't get in touch with her. Um, but, uh, and was feeling okay when I was just kind of resting and lying down. Um, so I chose not to come to the emergency room yesterday, even though I probably should have. Um, but I got in touch with my doctor this morning and, and talked to her and told her what was going on. And she said that, um, she thought that it, it probably was a blood clot, which is what I suspected it might be. And, um, that I should go to the emergency room. So Eric and I headed to the emergency room this morning and, um, had an ultrasound done on my arm, and indeed I have, um, it's unclear from the ultrasound report whether it's one large blood clot that's affecting three blood vessels, or whether it's three small blood clots affecting the three vessels. Um, but there are three vessels that are affected anyway. There's, um, it's affecting my jugular vein, my subclavian vein, and then a vein in my, um, arm, I guess my, the outer part of my arm. Um, so, um, not really great news, um, there, I have, I'm waiting to see the vascular surgeon, um, to find out what the plan is, um, there's a chance that I will need to have my port taken out because, um, either because the port could be, could not work right. Um, because of where the clots are and because the port's on the same side. Um, and there's also some suspicion that the port may have contributed to the clots. Um, I'm not sure how likely that is. Um, I'm also, I've also been on um, birth control to help with the sodonomia symptoms. Um, and I think that it's much more likely that it's that that caused the clot. Um, but I'll wait to talk with the, um, the vascular surgeon and find out what the plan is um, before making any decisions or, you know, or any of that. Um, it's kind of disappointing, the thought that there's a chance that this port will have to come out after only having it since July. Um, I mean, that's August, September, October, like that's three months <laughs> that I've had this port. Um, I mean, that's a record low for me, um, so that's really frustrating. Um, but of course, if the port is not going to function properly or is going to be dangerous to keep in, I of course don't want to keep it. Um, the doctor that I did see when I got up to the floor today um, said something that I feel like maybe he shouldn't have said because he's not someone who... Um, I mean, he's not the vascular surgeon, he doesn't really know this area, um, but he said that he doesn't think that anyone's going to want to put another port in me, um, because of this, um, which, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's the case, but, like, he's not the expert in this, so I feel like he shouldn't have said that, because that was kind of upsetting to me, um, and, like, it's going to make it so that perhaps tonight I'm not going to sleep as well, and it's just it's kind of upsetting. So, um, I mean, the whole thing is kind of upsetting to be in the hospital and to be dealing with this and whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm here for tonight anyway. I've been started on, um, Lovenox shots. Um, and then once they decide what they're doing with the port, then I'll also be started on Coumadin, which I'll then, once that gets up to a, uh, the level it needs to be at, then, um, I'll be able to stop the Lovenox and just be on the Coumadin for three to six months, probably. 
This will be great. I already bruise really easily, so this is just gonna be terrific. And, uh, yeah. Um, I've got a lovely peripheral IV right at the bend in my elbow. Um, which is gonna make sleeping just fantastic, because anytime I bend my elbow, the pump goes off. I'm getting fluids, and, um, it, anytime I bend my elbow, it, um, causes an occlusion. So, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Um, but I'll manage. Um, so it's just, it's just, you know, I'm just trying to laugh at all of it and hope that I'm only here one night. And, um, yeah. I also have, um, my penguin pillow pet that, um, the family I nanny for gave me for my birthday. So he's keeping me company and I'm resting my arm that hurts, um, resting that on him. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to get some sleep. I have Ambien that I'm going to take to try to knock me out. Um, I also got some Vicodin for the pain. Hopefully that will help get me to sleep. Um, and I'm going to get woken up in about five hours for a lovely low neck shot. So that'll be great. Um, yeah. Uh, so I will update when I know a little bit more of what the plan is. Um, I have a tendency to not want to make videos while I'm in the hospital during the day because I feel a little funny like people are going to walk in any minute. But, um, so I will either update tomorrow night if I'm still here or when I get home. So, um, yeah. Hope you're all doing well, um, and I will talk to you soon.